All right, boys, today we got a new adjustment in 6.1 that I think kind of changed a lot for me. And, and we're going to get started with the coach adjustments. Now, I've been starting to baseline a lot more. I do unbaseline for certain things, like some RPO stuff that I just really want to just defend how I know how to defend RPOs, right? Now, that video will be linked at the end of this one. Now, a lot of the times I was running 30 and 5s, maybe cycling through them. But I changed one thing. So one of my biggest complaints, one of the biggest gripes about 6.1, right, is your flat's not getting out to the flat. And how we would do this before is we would say, okay, we're going to play a zero. Now, a zero is great for some RPOs and really the quick flats, but it's pretty easy to take advantage of as well. So what I decided to do was we're going to go ahead and play default regular flats today. And we're actually going to play 25 yard curl flats. Now, this is specifically, I should say, an ultimate team thing as well. Now, why I think this is okay. And we're also going to just base out of cover four quarters. That's the defense that we've been calling a lot. So let's go up against like the meta bunch offset plays, including double corners. And we'll also go up against like a trip side end style of verticals as well. So on defense, the setup right here is a little bit different though. We're going to go ahead and go ahead. First things first, we're going to hit Y and then right stick down to shade underneath. What this did was our linebackers are now in a hard flat that should get out. Now again, we're going to go ahead and pinch the defensive line, left D pad to the left, left stick down, and then we're going to crash to the inside or we can QB contain either or. I like either or right now, but for the blitz to come in a little bit better, we're going to hit the left D pad to the left, right stick down for them to uh, crash inside just like this. Now, another thing you can do is hit the right D pad and then up on the left stick. This will spread out your linebackers to give them a little bit more space. Now, also what we're going to do here is show blitz. I like the show blitz look a lot in 6-1. We're going to hit the Y button or try and go to pinch depending if you're on PlayStation or Xbox. Then we're going to hit the left stick to the left right here. And what that did was that brought everyone down to the box. Now, Jair Brown would be like around like right here. It just didn't register because we were on him before. So, so now let's talk about the adjustment. Now I'm going to talk about it like first any formation. I like to Mabel the side that is the offense is strong for me, like the strong side. Okay. What I mean by that is, okay, we're going to put our A safety right here in a curl flat. We're going to hit double hit tap uh, Y hit A, and then we're going to hit the left stick to the right to put him in a 25 yard curl flat. We are then going to cover three the rest of the defense. Okay. So we're going to hit Y again right here. We're going to hit B up on the left stick. We are then going to hit double tap Y and then hit Y this time for our other safety. We're going to put him in an inside third left stick to the left. And then we're also going to do the same thing with X right here. Double tap Y hit X and then up on the uh, left stick. So we now have a cover three base defense. Now there is one final thing I like to do, and you could do this to either side. We can either vert out this defensive lineman right here, or we convert out this defensive lineman right here. I like to do uh, the, the running back side just in case they run a running back streak and also like a post or something. I like to kind of use her like right in this area. Okay, so let's run through the meta plays right now in the game. Let's go through double post first. Well, the reason why I'm confident in doing this, by the way, too, is we have mid zone everywhere. We have mid zone on our linebackers. We have mid zone on our corners. We have mid zone on our safeties. So the 25 yard curl flat can actually play corner routes and stuff like a 30 yard deep blue, you know, and it also cheats a little bit inside. So right here, our user, we're going to go ahead and try to take away like the, the running back right here. And we're going to try to throw this like off the rip right here. And what you're going to see is mid zone KO KO is the double post. Now, what I will say is you are a little bit weak against double posts late, but again, what I'm okay with is now this time our user can just go with the double post route, okay? And this time our, we're gonna try to throw the running back with the uh, same exact defensive adjustments and we're gonna go ahead and go through it fast right here, bang, and we're already set up, right? I guess I didn't spread the linebackers, but I don't do that every time, only if I feel like I'm really getting quick flat. So right here, like we would still be off the running back off the rip, but if we throw that right there, right? Mid zone. Bang. You see, that's the value of mid zone. That's a three to five yard gain that we would usually give up that we now stop. Okay. Now I'm just going through like the, uh, the meta plays and just really what you would see. Now, what I will say though, is on the backside right here, this is a little bit weak first, like the C route in, um, what's it called in double post, but there is a way to take this away. And if you guys are curious about that, I mean, first off right there, that, that was a regular hard flat that did pick it off. I'm just saying at times that can be played, especially if they wheel route like a running back or something, they can take advantage of that. But how we can take that away is if you are curious, we can go ahead and press a cloud flat and run like a cover two on the backside like this. And we could go like this, or we could man it up with Fred Warner as well. And we could maybe even, you know, we could hard flat now a Christian Harris. We could do the, like, we could do a lot of different things to replace different things, right? That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. But right here, we're going to go ahead and go back to uh, cover four quarters. This time though, we're going to run the double corner concept out of corner out dig something like this right here. Okay. And this is something you'll see a lot of, and this is something that you would think it probably struggles with, right? But really I actually kind of like the defense better right here and we're just gonna go ahead and uh let the uh, play run through we'll even try to roll out right here just to go ahead and show it but like right here okay the tight end is still open now 
that's something that's open even versus the 30 and five, okay? And again, we have like adjustments takes this way, but look where the curl flat plays. This is, this is what I'm trying to say. It plays a little bit more to the inside. So if they try to quick throw it, right? If they try to quick throw either of these, they're going to be KO'd. Now over the top, Justin Jefferson would be KO'd by Sauce. So I'm okay. Again, I'm okay with that. You know what? If the tight ends open like that, I mean, I, I feel like I can trust the curl flat too. Something you can go ahead and try to do as well. If you, you're just like, okay, I don't, I don't want that. We can go ahead and try to shade outside this time, but also with our base defense what i tell people a lot of times too is this is on your user you got to go sprint out with it man you have to so this time right here we're going to go ahead and try to pass from the uh, pocket right here we'll try to throw well uh, what's called kyle pitts but like you see kind of how if we didn't roll out that time it actually did a really good job that's why again i really really like that now let's talk about verts right here as well and we're going to go ahead and set it up the same exact way once again this is why i like verting out the uh, defensive lineman because a lot of times what gives me issues is something like this and pretty much what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the uh, crosser off the rip and then try to get back to Kyle Pitts, right? But also something that is so good about the curl flat as well, okay? Um, there is a throw right here that I'm okay with living if they want to live on the edge like that, make them get a perfect throw. But let's talk about it right here, the curl flat, okay? Look at the curl flat, look where he's at. In the middle of the field, if they throw the tight end right here, it's a KO because of mid zone. They would have to wait till like right about here, but then again, like Sauce can get back to it too. You can kind of ignore this. Now, what I will say is Barrios can be thrown like that time right there we also got a chuck out animation right there so they probably would hit barrios but a lot of times the hard flat will be out to the flat again it's not like a one-to-one -one, but like that is something you have to look out for but i mean if they are hitting that on you i think you're playing somewhat of a decent player so we can make other adjustments as well now finally right here we do have smash return this time this is how people set it up like this and we're gonna go ahead and run the same exact defense again right here now this is something where this defense isn't like the greatest against i guess but let's run through it right here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, hike the ball use a tight end off the rip go to the uh, post and then for me, I like to go ahead and try to like just bait like uh, Barrios or something. But again, what you notice was our hard flat even kind of like cheated over a little bit. But what I will say is if you're worried about that play as well, what you can do is you can now again play the cloud flat on the other side where it can guard the post late. And we can either man up Tyree kill. We convert out this guy. We can do a bunch of different things. Like we can deep path Justin Simmons. Now this right here would totally change your user responsibility. Of course, like you would go ahead and have to use her like deep middle, like a lot of double post stuff. I'm going to say you can do some uh, different things as well. And we could also potentially go like this as well right here where we shaded down and then up for Fred Warner to be in the cloud flat. And we can go ahead and just set defense up like this where this will give us a little bit of a prote uh, protection over the post late and also a little bit of the double post C route as well. Now again right here, I'm going to run verts this time as well. And what you're going to see is this, this is like a better example of what will happen like right there, like our, our hard flat actually guard everything. So again, this is just again, one of my favorite adjustments versus bunch. Uh, the double corner stuff going to play the same exact way in a uh, bunch strong, but because this is something that I think is really interesting as well. And really really good first trips because i do get a lot of questions that people are about trips because a lot of people say this is the weakness of six one and we'll go ahead and go up against uh yeah verticals right here and we'll run into the wide side of the field because that's what trips players do now for this trips right here you'll notice that baseline press like sauce being out there just isn't good so we can unbaseline right here versus trips if they do audible as well and then we can press like this and to me it looks like a lot better a lot cleaner as well because we we won't get beat on an outside streak but Let's talk about this right here. Um, we're really not worried about the backside right now. We're just really worried about the seam streak. So if they try to throw that off the rip, right? Like as soon as he clears the uh, blue, like the blue right there, mid zone's gonna KO and light that up. Now let's talk about it late though. And let's set up the uh, defense the same exact way right here. Bang, bang, bang. Kind of like the running back side vert as well, just to help against like a tight end seam streak. But let's talk about this late. I'm also gonna spy off the defense line just so we don't get crazy pressure. But what you're gonna see late though, right? Okay, there's like a window right as soon as he clears right here that people could try to throw, but like, the third's getting back over there. And also if you have deep out, this is why deep out mid zone is so important. So important because that right there is not gonna be caught on sauce or Justin Simmons. And I'll even try to show that right here with uh, playing um, say Brown in, uh, we're just gonna user him and like take him out over here. And this time right here, we're gonna throw it like, we'd have to throw it like right around here. What you can see is mid zone and deep out zone KO gonna KO that. So that's why I think this defense is really, really crazy right now. Um, hopefully I was able to help you guys. This is a different style of running 6-1. And if you use all the tools on the channel, I think you can really stop everything out of this formation. And it's my personal favorite because I feel like I can stop the run. I can stop the pass. I can really stop everything and super comfortable with it. Hopefully I was able to help you guys. If I was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more gameplay content just like this. And if you guys do want to go ahead and watch me use this defense live on stream, I stream here on YouTube. YouTube on my main channel that does focus on ultimate team and also twitch those links are down below in the description i would appreciate a follow on either one of those as well